All right, so took a break, and we're back. Play some more chess. There's a good chance that at some point I'm going to get paired with Chess Bra, because um, he's currently at 79 some points, and I've got about double that. So at some point he's going to catch up with us. Check. Check. So I've played this opening once this tournament. Um, and here we have it again. Although I think this variation of this opening is better than the one I had last time. If I were playing to win the tournament, I would resign right here. try to maximize my point total because I don't really care about beating this dude from a win the tournament perspective. What I do care about is can I hold this endgame and do I need to change my opening theory? Do I need to play opening more accurately? Um. Well, I don't want to trap my bishop. But this isn't really trapped. I do predict g4, but I'm not afraid of it. Okay, so I do have to back up here to c6. Actually puts my bishop on a better diagonal. Maybe I swing back to e6 now. I don't want to get in the way of these pawns because they are going to move. Um, I predict he's going to trade queens, because my pressure on his king is far greater than his pressure on my king. Now we got one rook on the a-pawn, one rook on this f-pawn. I 
thinking that somewhere, somehow, I can make a breakthrough. Check. Okay, so how does he defend the E pawn again? Okay, so he doubles his rooks there. This concedes the C file. But now he gets to double on e2 if he desires. So I want to stop a rook trade from happening. All right, now I have to allow a rook trade for me to win any material. So we're going to do the rook trade. Oh, hang on. This is a free rook. What am I doing? And a second free rook. Not exactly, because he can block with the rook, but he might not. Victory. Yeah, we got some marathon going on. The alliteration station, where we make a rhyme every time. Okay, but seriously, um... Doing pretty well this tournament. The sequence Ready. of five losses in a row um, are games where I didn't play any moves and I don't even know who my opponents were. Because Lee Chess paired me and didn't tell me about it. But overall, I'm doing okay. Check. So the reason I'm down so Check. many rating points is because, well, oh, again, of those losses against I don't even know who. Um, Okay, so we got a knight pin. He's going to step out of the pin because he's not a dummy. Or he's going to go right for the throat. Um, and we'll see where he ends up. I have to trade these knights. Endgame playable. I don't know. I think supposing it's playable, C6 is the most... Uh, the way to play this that offers the best chances for me. Check. I still have a double attack on E4. The knight's still under attack. My queen's developed. The rook's developed, and now my rook wants to enter the game. And all the meanwhile, my knight wants to drop onto f2. Um, so, 
we'll see what happens. Likely I'm going to take his knight, but I don't know. One reason not to take the knight is because all these pieces are in the way of him attacking my king. Um, so the status quo is kind of nice in that regard. Also, my knight could go to c5. Dangerous. Um, I'm going to take here. I don't feel safe with my bishop hanging there. Let's exchange some pawns. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to drop my queen to this discovery. Um, so, not sure what else he's thinking of. Also, I do want to exchange whatever I can on e5, because I am up one pawn. Okay. Still up a pawn. He's got a bishop, though, so he might have the better chances here. That's really well played there. Um, so I have to defend my c pawn. Then I could plunk my knight onto e6. Oh, where it promptly gets kicked and has to move again. Okay. Certainly uncomfortable. Um, well. I have to take, and I'm losing more material, unless I'm missing something. Okay, let's abandon the sea pawn and just not get made it.
check. Check. Yeah, I fell for Check. that, and I was trying to pull the same thing on Check. him. Check. Brilliant. Don't even ask. Possibly one of my worst rook endgames of all time. Okay. You want to move your knight there? Where's it going next? Check. Let's just say there are reasons that um, I don't resign when I'm down two pawns. I tend to wait until things are really over before I resign. Now this tournament I happen to be breaking that policy quite a bit. Um, but that's because the tournament rules encourage me to do so. Like, if I lose one game, and then I get paired up against somebody who's 500 points higher rated than myself, um, resigning on, like, move 10 or whatever isn't a bad strategy. So I can get paired down again. Um, now, I'm not saying that that is a good strategy, either. I'm just saying it's definitely worth considering. And since I'm playing this tournament, well, one, to kind of see how I'll do, but two, just to have some fun playing against lower-rated players, um, then resigning isn't exactly on the menu. Like, trying to accelerate my tournament score at the expense of my rating isn't one of the things that I'm... Um, going to overly do. This isn't really hanging because of that check. Um, but at least uh, A7's hanging. If I could do something about that check, d5 would also be hanging. So, I'm just applying a little bit of pressure. I could just take a7. Look, no reason not to. Free pawn. Gives me a pass to b pawn. And there's one fewer rook attacking my king.
I hate putting all my pawns on dark square. But it seems to be... Well, I don't know. I say it's the only way to get my king into the game. Um, but my king can go through e2. I'm flexible. Right? d5 is hanging. But... I don't have a good way to attack it. So, forward we march. Pins work two ways, though. No, really, that good of an idea. I could do rook b1. Antithetical, but it holds things together. Yeah, so he's just going to pile a third attacker on that square. I suppose it's time to bear a third defender on it, right? Actually, I don't need a third defender. Um, this bishop has to move. Oh, and the bishop's trapped. Would you look at that? I got this, and I got that. I got this. Bishop can't go any further. So, yeah, it's not a good day to be the defender in this position. Nom 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 nom. Free rook. Victory. Victory! Where am I? I'm in 99th place at 139 points. Ready. Oops. So this is my sideline that I play um, just for laps and for free pieces occasionally. Okay, so I'm going to play this kind of sort of dragon-y, except with double B pawns, but who cares. Um, fork. Definitely a fork. Pin. Do I want to get into this? This is fine. I'm pinned, but... Um, I expect to get out. Okay, I could take a pawn and a bishop and double his pawns and stuff. It actually looks fun. Let's go into this. Did I give my rook, but I get a bishop. Oh, not taking the rook. Okay. So, yeah, now I have this nice line of attack. Defended. This is attacked. This is nowhere. Um, so why don't you move, buddy? You don't want to be hanging out around those parts. Here we got a fork. Could hit the rook again. Do I want to? Not really. So there's one bishop. 
Okay. Yeah, let's centralize the knight again and then do this. Check. Check. There's the other bishop. That's how you get the bishop pair. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, you didn't see that, guys. Nobody saw that. Especially not my opponent. I missed this, too. Uh, well, this is what the top 100 players on Lee Chess do. Victory. Oh, yeah. Ready. I hung a piece, and he believed me. That was awesome. Okay, got Chess Fan 1. We get an Italian opening. That's not an Italian, that's Evan's Gambit. I was asking for an Italian, buddy. Here we go, Queen F6. I learned from my earlier tournament game where I accidentally played Queen E7. Queen E7 is refuted, Queen F6 is not. That's the difference. Possible this Knight GE7 is refuted, I don't remember. So, I'm not getting mated in the opening. I think I call that a success. Well, let's be careful before we declare success too early. Okay. That's sneaky. What can we do? It's knight f5, right? Drops the exchange. Um... How else can I make progress here? Rook e8, knight g5. No, knight g5 is not happening. So, I think this terrifying move is okay. Point being that now queen b4 doesn't threaten queen e7. I can take this. Yeah, now we just play chess. I'm going to take on Passant, and I don't really care because I'm up material. I am. Actually, no, I'm only up a bishop for a knight. That's not very much, that's almost nothing. Okay, I'm up a pawn yet again. Who knows how long it'll stay that way. Um, the rook. Queen, I take the rook. Takes my bishop. Oh, he takes my queen. And details. So uh, I'm just down a queen for a rook. A rook for a queen. Matter of perspective, really. To avoid getting mated on h7, we're going to create Luft and cover the g5 square. Oh, is that a queen trap? It is. It is a queen trap. Look at that. Saw this all in advance, of course. And truly the most brilliant of strategists.
predicting all of these forced moves long in advance of their occurrence. Victory. But no. That was just dumb luck. And how many of you had to suffer through watching that? Ah, just Ready. one. Okay. Victory. Ready. Okay. I remember correctly, pushing e5 loses the pawn. Or gets to a tricky position. Bishop e2, I think, is playable. So I think now e5 is okay, because knight g4, I've got bishop b5. I'm not losing the pawn. Oh, what about knight d7? Knight d7, I still do bishop b5. Or I do e6. Or knight takes d5. The last of which actually seems to make some sense. Um, the first two of which make no sense whatsoever. So he takes my knight and then I push d4. Unless he's going to push d4 here, but I don't think he's going to do so. He does so. Oh, yeah, here's a way to activate pieces. Moving bishop f4 wouldn't activate my bishop, so the most active square I've got is actually b2. My rook will eventually need to be on e1, so let's move it there. Not sure where my other room goes. Okay, so now I'm going to try to win the D pawn, if he does pawn takes. Can play queen a4. Adding pressure on d4.
I don't know how wise my idea is. Generally, my ideas aren't very wise. But they're very tricky. The ideas are fun. So, my point was that I could play either rook to c1. Um, yeah, that wasn't in the plan. So I think I could take here and then bishop a3. And he's still... I don't know. Murky. I could do bishop d1. He takes a2. I'm fine there. Somehow I'm attached to this idea of taking c5 and then taking a3. Although it doesn't seem to amount to any. No, in fact, it loses me the a pawn. Um, let's just activate my rook. My bishop can't make it to the long diagonal, but it could make it to the second longest diagonal. Uh, A2 to G8. Yeah, Dan Dan, I don't know what to say about that. Obviously, he's not on top of the table. Um, not on top of the tournament standings. But I don't know how to comment on that. I'd need to know a lot more. Yeah, this expands the scope of my bishop. I just noticed that his bishop covers c7, so whatever I was threatening is not nearly as serious as I thought it, as I imagined it to be. Um, so. Yeah, he's got a double attack on that square, so I have to moving. I want to do knight c7 anyway. Knight c7, yeah, this is fine. This doesn't lose the game. Certainly puts a lot of pressure on black. My opponent offers a draw. 
It's polite of him, but we're playing. Um, I mean, the clock is part of the game. Victory. Ready. And the worst thing is if somebody um, accused of cheating and then you somehow later find out that they weren't. Um, and that somehow some misjudgment was made somewhere. And that's the kind of thing you want to avoid. Um, is, I mean, I'm not sure what to say. The so knight takes d4 is not happening. Okay. Um, or is it? So, I've got three attacking this. He's got two defending it. Knight takes, knight takes, queen takes. So, three pawn? I'm up one pawn. And now we get to play an endgame. Okay. How do I play this one? Trying to balance my priorities of activating my pieces and not stupidly giving back material. Um, I think B6 is safe. I have to be very careful here, though. Okay, so this gains a tempo on the bishop. The point is that if bishop f3, I could either move the rook or move the bishop to e6. Bishop e6 seems safer. But also less rewarding. We're going to play bishop e6. So, now I just have to not hang anything the rest of the game. So, yeah. Check. Check. Ready.
Oh, are we going into Nidor? I don't exactly like the Nidor. Okay. We're going into some pelicans, something or other. Um. Uh, this is possibly the worst way this could have gone. Um. Uh, yeah, I have to buckle down and play this. Or B5, and then threatening B4. This G3 move is a wasted move in this line. Because white would never want to play... Oh, okay. How do I deal with this? I don't know. Giving up the E-pawn, or at least offering to. Maybe I needed to play bishop g5. So, yeah, now our knight has a home on e3. No knight d4. This is anything but typical, however. Possible some non fanatic thing ideas might crop up here. So far, I'll try to play this thematic. Thinking about, do I want to break with. Oh. Ow. Oh. Um. I want to break with A4. I think so. Maybe pawn takes or knight takes. Knight takes seem to make a lot of sense. We're going to keep the d5 square open for our pieces. Like the rook on f1, pieces like the queen on d1. Maybe one day the bishop will land on d5. So that's a long ways off. Um, pawn takes happens. Not going to let me do rook takes pawn. Now we take the bishop pair. I'm debating, do I do bishop g5 or bishop e3 next? Seriously thinking e3. Um, because there's no way he's going to play pawn d5. So, as long as there's no, like, tactics along diagonal, there's no reason to be there. The only reason there would be tactics is if d5 gets played, which he's not going to play it because my bishop's hanging out, uh, blazing about at home at g2. Um, it's this pawn and allows my rook to move out. Okay, so he moved his queen twice. I can afford I can afford to move my bishop twice. Hmm. 
Mm. I don't want to think about F4. I can afford to think about F4, but it's just not worth it. F4 is not going to amount to anything good. Other than my king getting made it. Um, from somebody's perspective, that's a good thing. Give the king some more luft in case we need it. My bishop has no home. Check. Let's exchange. Raid here. And then fork. Pawns don't move that way. Bishops do. Check. Check. Look how pawns move. They move forward. Check. Rooks go forward too. But queens move sideways. Victory. I've been watching a little bit of Amazing Void, and he reminds me that queens do move sideways. So that's nine wins in a row. Ready. Can I get a fried liver? All society, give me a fried liver attack. What would Mikhail Tall do? Yeah, Mikhail Tall would do knight takes d5. He would go for this piece. Check. d6. Oh, come on. Don't let me down, buddy. Give me a game. Okay. And so I cry. That's too bad. I wanted a game. Yeah, today's a 24-hour marathon. We're in hour 19 of it. I've played about 4 hours in total. And I'm in the top 100. Victory. In particular, because of games like that. Ready. Um, let's see if I. Re oh, that's not a Slav. 
nobody give me a... Okay, we did have a Slav earlier this tournament. I played it pretty poorly. Um, but, you know, I'll take it. Queen c2? Queen c2. Okay. Moves again. I'm not even really threatening to take that. I just wanted to highlight it to see if you guys were paying attention. Well, so here's the thing. You start the tournament at this point, you start with a score of zero. Your pairings are going to be against other people who have a score of zero. So, if you lose ten in a row, that's kind of, kind of bad. Um, I wouldn't expect anybody to lose ten in a row with a score of zero. But I could be surprised. There could be a first. Check. So now I'm up a rook and two pawns for a bishop. He's going to take a pawn, but I was up a lot. Check. I want my other rook on an open file, too. I want to give checkmate. Difficult deciding what to do. Don't put my rooks on squares where they could get forked. Oh, the queen defends this. Well, I'm disappointed. My whole plan revolved around checkmate on g2, and that's not even made. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you lose nine in a row, don't feel compelled to keep playing on my account, but Check. I think you'll do fine. I think you'll hang fewer pieces than I'm hanging right now. So, yeah, I have to take that. Might be a less than positive outcome. Check. Go back. Check. Fourth. Maybe I can get away with F six, but I'm skeptical. Um, yeah. Bad. There are hardly words to describe just how bad this is. Not going to walk into a pen. I have to trade rooks, because anywhere I move my rook, if I don't trade it, I lose Check. it. Not even an exaggeration. Um, So 
So my drawing idea revolves around... Normally you try to lift the pawn cover around the opposing king. Um, but that's really not happening here. So because I can't remove this pawn cover, this, all my pawns are fragmented as can, po can possibly be. Um, I just need to hope that he stumbles into a perpetual check. Check. And that requires me throwing all caution to the wind, because no other way to play this. Check. I have to steer clear of G7. Check. 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 Oh, he got me. Check. Yeah, I can resign Use. that. I was trying to stay on that diagonal uh, B1H7. Ready. And I just missed that tactic. Um, so I thought it was safe for me to deviate. Check. Check. Behold the fantasy variation. I only know enough opening theory so I could, like, um, barely suffer on. I forget what the word I'm looking for. Flail. Flail's the word I'm looking for. I know enough opening theory that out of just about any opening I could flail about and not lose in the opening. Um, that's not a very positive goal. A positive goal would be to equalize or to get something substantial. Something that's um, not going to just fall apart. But my goal isn't quite that positive. So here we flail. Um, I think I'm doing okay. It's possible I might get mated in 10 or something, but I think I'm doing okay. So, yeah, the key challenge here is how do I get my king out of the center? Check. I think it's by playing knight f3 here. Could play e5, threatening to take there, but I think he's got... Strong counterplay. I think I need to castle right now. Oh, 
Ooh, a museo. Those are fun. Yeah, my first game of this tournament, I played a King's Gambit. And because I don't know the King's Gambit, I summarily got crushed, just executed by some... I forget if it was 1900 or 2000, but it was... It was beautiful, just how terribly I got crushed. Um, Alright, so let's get my queen out of harm's way. And now once the knight moves... Oh, I can't take the... Okay, never mind. You didn't see anything. Um... Okay, if we can't castle kingside, I hear there's rumors that there's one other side of the board you can castle on. Um, not sure if they're fictitious or not. Um, of course, now that I take there, I have the d4 square. Because I have d4, I can castle. That makes sense, right? Yeah. Oh, I forgot to add, I think... Well, yeah, some of the earliest games in this tournament I did Berserk, and I failed to checkmate, and I think like a king and queen versus king or something. Maybe it was more complicated than I'm giving myself credit for. But... Yeah. So, make sure that nothing surprising happens on this diagonal. Get the king out of the way, and we can play chess. Not worry about all these silly tricks and traps and things. Check. Yeah, the fact that it covered C2 is just coincidence. Um, before I get myself mated, we're going to give the king some lift. And then double up on this. I'm not sure if I can take that and win. I'm going to just play H5, shatter the king side, and win the slow way. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to take that. Okay, so he's actually paying attention for what little good it's going to do him. Check. Because now I can still take this. Check. How far do we get? Not very far. And I do rook e5. Five king takes e7. Yeah, this is fine. I promote first. Check. 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 Victory. There we go. Ready. Ooh, we got a Lee Chess Master. Um, playing the Caro. I think I've played this guy before. 
And yeah, Lee Chess Masters are quite good at chess. Despite what other people might be telling you. They kick my butt pretty hard. Now we're in some kind of French thing. And not the good French things. <laughs> Three losses down, seven to go. Uh, don't feel fe don't feel compelled to keep playing. These marathons are supposed to be fun. If you're not having fun, you're not doing it right. So, um, I mean, you can withdraw like whenever you feel like it. If you ever feel like rejoining, you could do that too. Um, so yeah, my plan is to do Rook C1. I wish I knew anything about the French. Just the chess opening. I'm just kidding. Um. Ah, oh, free queens are nice. Should have moved my rook. Like, rook f2 would have been good. Because that would have... Now I no longer have the... Uh, oh. What in the world? What? Huh? What's going on? Okay, so we're trading that. But I could swear that I have F5 here. Like, this is a very dynamic position. I don't understand why he gave up the bishop in such a dynamic position. Or gave up the bishop pair, rather. Um, I can't let that pawn stand in the center, can I? Then it's just going to play to e4. Okay, I expected queen takes. Um, I'm actually attacking stuff. All sorts of stuff is being attacked. Okay. I don't understand what's going on. Check. I could play C4. Playing C4. Just to learn whether or not that's a good idea. Okay, I want to see d4 to prevent knight d4. So now we could follow with d3 and then knight d4 afterward. Well, knight d4 was, wasn't going to work anyway. So, yeah, I should have just gone back to e2. 
And then on knight d4, I take the bishop. Think this is safe? We'll find out. Probably gonna play h6. Oh, I miscalculated. That sucks. I have to sack my queen, because I thought I could take twice, and he could only take once. Um, just not at all the case. The pawn takes, queen takes, yeah, that doesn't get anywhere. The rook takes. Now we get this fun material in balance. But realistically, I'm probably lost here. Ones are better in duos than alone, so um, I'm going to try a pawn storm. It's not going to work, but my idea here. We've already burned the bridge. Now we're just watching it burn. Um, yeah. You have to play this to guard that square. Do I have anything left? Is rook g6? No. No. Um. Feels ridiculous. Check. Okay. Yeah, this is busted. You lose. Okay. Well, that wasn't too bad. Still floating here at 169 points. Ready. Potion! Isn't moving. There's some irony there. Um. Okay, so we're going to play something offbeat. As long as I try to control e5 at some point in this opening, I should try to get some kind of advantage. Um, if I concede e5, then it's pretty equal. Now that I've castled, I intend to play d4, and we play d4. 
I claim some kind of modest advantage. Who knows if it's actually there, but I claim it. So now we just proceed to put all our pawns on dark squares, because that's the silly thing to do. Um, there's actually some sense to it, though. Um, the sense is that this bishop can't cover the entire queen's side and the king's side, so I need to do I need to control queen's side via other means. Plus, if I'm going to get any kind of pawn break, I have to start putting my pawns somewhere. So I just pick dark squares. Possible light squares might be a better choice, but we're sticking with our decision. Also, d6 is a dark square, and d4, c5 leads up to d6. Oh, so once the knight moves, I could actually play this. And for this one tempo, the queen has to move away, giving me the d6. That's quite convenient. Now that my knight's on d6, the knight can't take it on e4. Not on e4 anymore. Um, so yeah, let's exchange. Sure, why not? My next target is that guy. And now we have the bishop here. The mobile pawns. Act. Not that that much matters. Hey, look! I got an exchange. That was an easy decision. After all the challenging decisions in this tournament, it's nice to have a few easy ones. Okay. Oh no, another queen takes g2 dropped. Um, yeah, you might want to take a break today if that keeps routinely happening. I'm just saying you don't win very many games by getting checkmated. Maybe a different day would be your day. It's okay to have bad days. Victory. Hey, I'll take it. We're in 64th place, guys. Ready. Okay. I'm confused. Very confused. I'm going to try to take this. Okay. 
some reason he just didn't care, or he just allows that, or I don't know. Yeah, now we play the waiting game. Now we play the waiting game. Game, the waiting game. Figure out where is my opponent going to castle. Not telling me, I'm not telling him. Okay, he's not castling queenside. That rules out about half of his castling options. Give my knight some other squares to go to. Okay. And we block my bishop. Much to his surprise. And this kind of diffuses e4, but not really. And I, with the two bishops, am closing the position. Sort of. Yes, it's more difficult to achieve e5 this way, but this way I don't get mated in the opening. In an opening, I should remind you that I'm unfamiliar with. Um. Maybe queen b6 would have been better. Okay, this slows his attack. Um, does it? Um, okay. Activate a piece, right? Not sure why he's opening the position and I'm closing it, but sure. I'll take it. Take whatever we can get here. Okay. The king is not in a good spot. Continues to get more confusing by the move.
So bishop takes g2 is almost playable. Doesn't quite work. But my alternative sucks, so I'm playing it anyway. I was afraid he might not take my bishop. Um, well, well, well. We're just going to pretend the bishop's not hanging. Yes. That's why he was opening the position, is because my king was wide open. I learn something every day. At least some of us do. Ready. I mean, yeah, there's the mate threat, too. Who cares about the king, though? Chess should be a more democratic game. Not the king who goes out and fights the battles. Army. Check. They should be given more credit. Um, uh, bishop d3 is a threat, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Step out of the bishop d3 threat, threatening g2, he should just castle. Nothing stopping castling there. Uh, my bishop on b4 is misplaced, but who really cares? Um, we'll see if he can trap my queen. Might be able to. Um, oh, right. That move um, kind of compels me to play knight e4. Otherwise, g6. Covered. Oh, my position in the tournament? I think I'm in 64th place. That could change at any moment if other people win games. Um. Okay, so <clears throat> get my queen out of all these tactics. Gotta move it. Or I just have to let tactics happen. Throw the dice and let them land where they may. So, former doesn't seem to work very well, so I have to try the latter. I don't expect this to be any better. Well, at least I got a knight. That was cool. Check. Oh, are you serious? 
I'm giving up my queen for... No, I'm not. Knight e6 would have been convincing. Knight move might also work. Yeah, this actually wins this push. Um, so... Okay. I'm going to have two pawns for bishop. Not the end of the world. The fact that my position sucks really doesn't help. Oh, my queen's almost trapped anyway. Bishop f7. Oh, wait, no, I could go along the sixth. I'm fine. Still, there's a lot of firepower in the vicinity of my king. I should do something about that. By something I mean, probably just take h3. Hope that I have an attack. Oh! Right, so... Got a back rank mate threat. Um, so I have to defend my rook. It's not looking like I'm going to win this. Um, how did I get into this? Check, check. Okay, so bishop b4 is a move I usually don't play in that opening. I think I now understand somewhat why I don't play that move. Um, usually. So, let's give my rook an escape square. Also, prepare for knight c6. Well, yeah, this is absolutely hideously, completely and totally lost against best play. I'm just counting on the fact that my opponent's not going to play the best move every move. And that maybe, somehow, he might overlook something vital. Like, here I've got knight takes e5. And suddenly I've got some counterplay here. Not much, but it's something. I'm hitting the bishop on e3, also protecting my pawn, and I'm moving into position to attack. Um, Check. So, Yeah, I mean, this looked lost a while ago, but is it still lost? Probably. Can I maybe swindle something out of it? Sure. The rook no longer controls f4, so I have an actual threat over here. Chattery. Ready. That's, by the way, that's why when you're winning, 
Um, you want to find precise moves. You don't want to just rely on winning on time. Um, because it's possible for things to snowball like that. Sure, I dropped a piece or two, and that probably gave my opponent even more confidence than he already had. Uh, so I think I play c4 here. Or do I do knight e1 to c3? I think it's knight c3. I think we allow a6 anyway. Well, I mean, I'm just saying don't rush to judgments about what's won and what's lost until the game's over. I mean, yeah, because, like, if I just word for word agree with every literal word that you're saying, um, then another person's going to come along and say, why aren't you resigning yet if, if it's lost? And... So I guess that's why I go through um, that kind of argument. And the third person comes along and says, you're a bad person for not resigning when you're lost. And the fourth person says, I agree. And suddenly you've got the whole town out to lynch me for something. Um, I think I'm in 64th or something. Take this knight. Oh, this is going to be crazy. I could do bishop e3, knight takes bishop, bishop b5, queen takes, knight takes, knight takes. Um, I think this is actually good. So, oh wait, I'm not down material. I thought I was down material here. In which case, there would be some doubt in my mind about how good this is. Oh! Knight protects queen. Ouch. Well, queens move sideways, but knights move backwards. Okay, so we're down how much? We're down the bishop pair for a knight. Or a bishop pair and a pawn for a knight. Bad. What I give for being clever? Okay, so on a scale of 1 to busted, I'm busted. But maybe we can swindle something out of this as well. B7 is mine. Need to, what do I need to do here? Can't exactly let him easily promote. But what's my alternative? I don't know. I'm going to play B3. Um, trying to defend this is going to be a love of labor. So I guess if rook a4, b3, rook moves, rook takes b4. So I've at least got one pawn back. Meaning I'm only down a bishop and a pawn instead of a bishop and two pawns. Okay, now we attack this. Um, our king. Blockade that and just try to use the king as much as possible.
Now, if he just doubles his rooks uh, pretty much anywhere, that's a perpetual check. Um, but he hasn't done that yet. Okay. Check. Yeah, I'm gambiting these guys to try to promote. Um, uh, my opponent's making it difficult for me to make that gambit. Check. 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 And now we promote and win. If I could get in rook d2, I would feel a little bit more comfortable here. Yeah. I'm not going to get that move in. That's okay. My one pawn can hold three pawns long enough for this guy to promote. Got to promote right away. And race this guy forward. Splitting the pawns is very bad for their promotion chances. Check. Check. Believe it or not, I do know how to checkmate with a queen and a rook. Some players are a bit more skeptical than others, but I know how to demonstrate this. Okay, Aldrinan finally understands that checkmate. Okay, what comments did I miss? Yeah, I can only win games where I'm like way behind, apparently. Yeah, also, joining the tournament is late joining the tournament and beating up on the lower-rated players. Fantastic for your rating. Okay, I'm going to play d5. I was distracted trying to read your lovely comments. Um, I'm going to play d5 and hope that it's not bad. Okay. Now I'm very confused. Suppose I take here. And I don't know, pin the knight or something. I wanted to provoke this because this makes the king side weaker. Um, so I could potentially drive my other pieces in this direction. Okay, this weakens these squares. Check. 
So he's starting to move all his pieces to the king's side. I'm attacking on both flanks. And through the center. Um, I guess, no, I'm attacking on the queen's side and the center. Um, not attacking on the king's side. Okay, let's provoke c6. Oh, c6 isn't happening. Um, sure, we'll play this, understanding that maybe the bishops won't get traded. But in the event that they don't, I can take this. And now all my pawns are on light squares. Don't ask me where it's going after that. Oh. Okay. Well, this is strange. Is it not? Take back the bishop. Knight is misplaced. Prepares this maneuver. I almost moved knight f5 right away, but it has nowhere to go next. I forgot that I can't do bishop takes knight here. Um, so we'll spend the tempo to rearrange into this formation. I don't know why he's doubling on the d-file. That center isn't going anywhere. I guess he's doubling or tripling on the d-file because, um, tactics and stuff. Nope.
Check. Check, check, check. Victory. With more time, he might have won that. Oh, my opponent... Oh. I didn't even catch that he did the Berserk thing. Although I was Ready. quite puzzled about how I suddenly um, was winning on time. I was just playing at my normal pace. I really don't look at how much time my opponent has remaining. Um, that tends not to be a big factor in most of my decisions. Okay, so I'm losing pretty much my entire army here. Um, that's okay. Because we're going to win. Don't ask how. I'm just a little bit hesitant to resign when I had such a good winning streak. Um, I'm pausing a little bit before I do give in. Can't let the winning streak end like that. Check. I don't even know what the heck's going on here. Check. What? What is this? Check. I swear, I'm not controlling his moves. Oh, this is hilarious. Check. What the heck? Um, do I have a mate? I don't. If I did, I would totally play it. Actually, wait, knight e8. Oh, he blocks on g6. I have to Check. take the queen. I guess I take the bishop, right? Because, no, this threatens mate, though. So we do the mate threat, and then we take the bishop. Victory. Okay, that was exciting. Um, yeah. I don't know what inspired my opponent to blunder like four times in a row there, but...
I know how to checkmate. Ready. Go me. Uh, so my d4 square is loose. Um, I guess this is the only way to defend it. I guess I'm ending up with losing half my army or something. I don't know. Check. Knight takes f3. Okay, he's threatening to win the exchange. And he's attacking my knight. Jokes on him, he can only take one of my exchanges. But now I get mated. So, GG me. Oh, wait, no, Queen G5 doesn't mate. Uh, okay. What's going on here? I have to defend this. Still defending G5. So bishop f3 is the threat. Really nothing constructive I can do about it. Um, other than play f4. Staves off the mate one more move. Check. Check. GG. Alright, he got me. Got me, buddy. Oh man, this Colin guy. Poor guy. Ready. Yeah, there's no way that I'm beating a 2100 in that same style. That would be too fantastic to actually happen. If I castle kingside, I do have an alternative. I'm going to try this. This looks completely nuts. Completely nuts. So we're going to try it. Um, seems nutty enough that it might work. And if it doesn't work, I'll know never to try it again. Uh. 
So, yeah, we're going to move the king over to A8 and then try to protect it. Because have you ever seen a safer looking king than my king? Actually, I win a rook this way. Might lose a king, but I could win a rook. Um, I don't even know if I'm losing a king. That is really weird. Wait, I take, I check, I take here. Unless he has a mate threat, I'm doing fine. Check. I'm go for it. Check. Oh, he's got bishop b3. He's also got rook b2, but I can take that rook. Check. So, I survive? Why would I accept a draw? Why would I accept a draw offer? I have nothing to lose here. Except pride. Pride is definitely being lost. Check. Check. Okay, my rook's attacked. I have to hope he forgets about my pawn. He didn't. Um... Check. 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 
Check. Check. Check. Victory. Wait, Zug Addict's playing? Oh. Ready. Well, that's gonna be fun. Or I guess one point behind Zug Addict maybe just means one rating point. Um, Bishop G5. Oh. That's not happening. Okay. Sure, we'll play this thing. Why not? Check. This again looks like a French. Everything looks like a French, except this one, E5, wasn't played. Um, Check. Now we just trade everything off on D2, right? Check. And I'm up a pawn. I have better development. This is one of my better opening experiments. Check. Um, Check. Fill up a pawn. Knight f5, I can just kick the knight. No doubt he saw rookie 4 and saw knight f5, but he just probably missed g6. Might also be considering f3 here. Um, but I can play rook f4, right? e3... Oh, I've got g5 at best. So yeah, I've got to move my rook away. Well, well, well. So he's going to move knight to e3, threaten to take this, and I'm threatening to take back on d4 when he does.
We'll let this happen. It was only a matter of time before my pieces somehow activated. Now they're active. What I don't like is that his rooks are going to become active as a result of this, but there wasn't much I could do. I guess if he does play rook... Well, I'm sorry, he's going to move his knight. I keep thinking that he's going to move a rook and move the knight at the same time, and that's not possible. Okay, that's gutsy. That's gutsier than stuff I was looking at. I have to play rook c6, don't I? My everything is hanging. <clears throat> but we might be okay. Rook takes c6, king takes c6, knight takes f6, rook f8, knight takes h7, rook takes f3, king e4, rook takes h3. And I'm still attacking the rook here and attacking the knight. So despite all these position zooks and such, um, I'm not seeing a way for him to win material. Oh, right. So... Started from the premise that he had to do something drastic here. That's not a true premise. Um, Check. So he's got a fast pawn, but how fast can it race with my king in the way? And we hit this target that's not moving. Because hitting moving targets is difficult, but hitting stationary targets is... Um, Shooting fish in a barrel. Oh my goodness. I just hung my knight. Uh, whatever. Check.
Check. Check. Check. Check. Check. You lose. <laughs> he got me. Oh, he deserved it. Yes, the trophy goes to top 50. I, it appears more than evident that I am not going to qualify for top 50. Um, so, yeah. I keep trying, but I'm never... Seems like I'm never going to get a medal in one of these... Um, marathon events. Check. I just have to get better. Oh, what am I smoking? I can't take the rook. Okay, let's try to open the center. Maybe something positive will come there. So, yeah. This end game is bad. Um, we're going to try to improve it somehow. <laughs> um, Got to do this, and I walked into a pin. Unless my king can make it over there in time, that's GG. So, can my king make it? Probably not. Yeah. Oh, wait. There's a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. This way just happens to suck. Um, forced, because otherwise, well, I don't know. Yeah, he could have taken b7 and then did a bunch of d5. Um, oh, so I'm losing a piece anyway. Kind of nonsense can I stir up over here? Check. Check. 
Back to this. Today is brought to you by Queen's Move Sideways and viewers like you. Check. Yeah, okay, he knows this one. Um. <laughs> top 50. You mean top 50%? There's a slight difference there. Ready. Oh, hey, look, you get to play against Lee Chessmaster Lights. Again. What's this? That. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Don't even know. I want to play knight g6 and prepare that with king h7, but I have to stop f4 first. So now that f4 is not happening, I could consider knight g6. Or maybe even g6 itself. So doubtful. Um, okay. Confusing. Let's take it. Take it again. Check. Ah, oh, crap. I forgot. He could just take h6. He could have taken h6, then f6, and that would have been a good position for him. Um. But he missed his shot. He's now preparing f4 yet again. I'm debating trying to stop it again. Attempt to stop it. Okay, so F4 happened. Where's my plan? I'm supposed to have something here. Nope. Now can I do knight d7? I think so. What's stopping me here? Why is this bad? Or is it just that unusual that knight d7 is a good move that my opponent hadn't even considered this? Um, oh, right. That's what's stopping it. 
Uh, so I have to take. Taking doesn't hurt. And now we plug E5. This is a little bit difficult to hold. Uh, again, I'm around 64th place. I'm not moving, guys. I am very solidly stuck at my position in the tournament standings. Not moving upward an inch. Well, this looks crazy, and because it is, so I don't want to play G5. Um, Right, queen trade? Queen trade smells like death, but I don't see a way for him to break through. We're gonna see where this gets us. Okay. Oh shit, that hangs the pawn. Yeah. Check. Oh, that was totally unnecessary. So, barring a miracle, this is lost. Check. Um, that's not exactly the kind of miracle I was looking for. Oh, okay, yeah, there's no defending that. Not against a lead chess master, and not down two pawns, and not having the disadvantage of knight versus bishop. Ready. So, that's indefensible. Do I think I'll make it into the top 50? Well, we'll put it this way. I've been playing for about Check. six hours, and so far not Check. once have I made it into the top 50. And of those six hours, the last three have been sitting in 64th place. So, do I think I'm going to make it into the top 50? Sure. Yeah, I'm going to make it into the top 50. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little bummed out that I'm going to be missing out, but oh well. For the awards to have any meaning, they have to be difficult to achieve. And, and basically, if I can get it, it's not difficult enough. Well, the other thing is, so you say, like, if you've been playing the whole 24 hours, you think you'd do better. I think that after the first um, six hours or something, um, there's definitely a diminishing return. So if you don't make it into the... I mean, by six hours, you're going to make it wherever you're ultimately headed. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so he missed d5, just winning a piece. Um... I don't blame him if he's been playing for quite a while. We're all starting to imagine things here. I thought d5 wouldn't win a piece, and then um, 
thought I had some clever retort, but I just didn't. It didn't work. Pretty sure. Who was, what was it? I don't remember. Check. Oh yes, because his queen protects d5. I thought I had it attacked enough times, but I don't think I did. Regardless, this bishop d3, bishop g4 uh, adjustment has greatly improved my position. Okay, he stepped out of the pin, but um, this is kind of dangerous. If queen c7, rook e1 is something to consider. Might not work. Okay, let's make random threats. Random threats are the best, because the opponent never has any idea what's going to happen next. Um, Check. Yep, this one is a threat. Um, Okay, so I don't have any tactical shots here. H3, rook takes f7, queen g2, king e1, queen check, king... This looks fun enough to at least first... Might not win, but... I don't think any of my alternatives got me any closer. I looked at rook takes knight, I looked at knight takes f3, I looked at queen c1. Look to queen b5, and all of them, I'm just down material. If you're down material, don't be afraid to go down more. Not if you have a winning chance. So here I have two ideas. Queen g2 and knight takes f3. Queen g2... And queen checking the king and seeing how far the king can run. If I was a king e1 right away, maybe I just do knight takes f3. Check. Because now I can protect f7. You can also do queen checks of all kinds here. Actually, this is a pretty good check. Check three. Yeah, we'll stay, we'll pick that one. Where am I? 62nd place. Yeah, I think closer to the end of the tournament, more people are going to log on. And um, people who... Yeah... My pairings are just going to get more and more Ready. difficult as time goes on. Hey, we got King's Crusher. Let's see. He's going to play e5. That's not e5. Ah! Take my pawn. Okay. I'm known for coming up with funny ideas and openings. I hope he enjoys that one.
Sure, let's sack. How fun can sacking be, right? Kings Crusher is probably having a fit at this moment, being like, what's going on? <laughs> Uh, poor guy. Wait, um, so, yeah, that does cover a lot of squares. I'm down in exchange. I played bishop g5. I'm going to play queen d4. We have to go for it. Come this far, we can't go back. This is a double attack. Oh, he defends both points. I guess I have to do this move. I don't like it. Again, a double attack, but yeah, he just castles and ignores this threat. Um... Oh! Wait, no, it didn't trap the rook. That would have been so awesome, though. Uh... Check. 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 Yeah, going berserk to, tends to let this sort of thing happen. Um, Victory. Ready. Well, that was exciting.
Uh, my nonsense and whimsy win again. Check. Victory. Oh, I win. You know, I thought he was just going to take back and I trade queens and then win his e-pawn. I guess that was enough. Taking on e7 is the natural reply. Taking on c3, more sophisticated. Because here, tactics happen. Like here, I could play queen c4, or queen f3, or all kinds of moves. I'm not even saying they're good, but I just have tons of options, so... Take some guts to play this. No back rank mate today. Might induce C5. I'm very nervous about making moves here because queens move every direction. Um, so it's really easy to fall for some tactic involving a queen move. Top and queen b4. Um, I guess I just take a7, right? Queen d1 made. Check. 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 Okay, I think the end game's not lost if I do this, so we're gonna go for it. Um, for sure, this is a dangerous decision.
There's no being subtle about this either. King f4, g5 would force me to move back. That's why I elect to play king e2, even though king e2 looks bad. Monkey Chin needs to figure out that he needs to advance on the king's side. Anything else will fail. Um, so if I push, I have to push right now. Moving passively with my king isn't an option. But yeah, we're moving the pawns on my side of the board, not his side. And that's what's holding him back. I have pushed h4. There was no need for me to go into this. Check. If I had to push C4, then yeah, maybe he'd have something here. But as it stands, he's going to get zigzagged. I push C4 down. Um, I think I push H4, and I need to count on being able to push the H pawn at the end of all these lines, thus promoting the H pawn. Brings the target just a little bit closer. Oh, also c4, f6, f3, and zug spawn. Victory. Yeah. Ready. I don't know why I'm bolting these moves out instantly, because um, my opening theory has a few holes, to put it lightly. Um, maybe I'm bolting them out quickly just to feel like I have some confidence about what I'm playing. Um, but a better strategy would be to play good moves. And not worry about playing them quickly. Anyway, um, yeah, Queen G7 is happening. Oh, I could have done Queen C3 to stop that. It would have been dangerous, but might have stopped it. Yeah, 
Yeah, I should have played the Slav. Just instinct at this point to avoid the Slav. I should try it more often. Check. Well, I could take A2. Scary. And everything here is scary, so why shouldn't I take it? Check. Block with the rook? Oh yeah! That's good. I saw that happening. That's why I took A2. Victory. Not for any endgame reason, but just so I could do that one tactic. Or at least in this tournament, I mean, playing in an arena format, you're supposed to take some chances. And Ready. the Slav just isn't risky enough. But okay, maybe I do need to try the Slav. But no, Slav gets you good endgames. Um, I just need something that has ridiculous opening chances. B4? Are we going to see B4? No, we're not. So, he might take my bishop, or he might see this. Um, go back. And now I have a well-placed bishop. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I could play Atomic if I want games that are completely winning or losing. Problem is, um, generally, I tend to lose those really quickly. But I play the most aggressive lines, and I play them badly. So, uh, I mean, the inevitable happens, right? Why don't I take the rook? I'm not seeing a reason to not take it. Actually, pawn takes, queen takes, knight forks. That would have been the reason. Knight fork on e7 would have... Um, put an end to my reign of terror pretty quickly. But, as it stands now, I'm just doing better. My a7 knight's protected. 
Hives attacked. All is well with the world. Now Rook takes b5, right? Unless I'm walking into another tactic of some sort. I'm afraid I might. Um, he can't play Rook a1, though. So what tactic could he possibly spring in this position? There's actually a tactic. Rook takes, Rook takes, Knight takes, Knight takes c7. Um, that's the tactic. I need to start with Knight takes. Five. Oh, it's the same tactic. Lovely. Uh, so how do I get past this? Rook takes, Rook takes, Queen takes. The way do I get out of this? Well, c6 is going to hang. There's no avoiding that. Um, I do find it funny, though. Um, my opponent's doing this the difficult way for him. Um, Actually, this might protect c6. So now the knight's no longer overloaded. c6 is defended. So rook takes c6. I can play knight takes c6. I'm okay. Now there's always knight e7, queen takes knight, and then rook c6. Um, I don't know. It's all getting really complicated. But if we trade some pieces, things will clarify. Yeah, I'm not going to let any tactics on h7 or f7 happen. The one thing I'm kind of a little bit allergic to. Check. 
check. Easy peasy. Check. Knowing your mating nets helps. <laughs> Check. Victory. Ready. Oh, right. I forgot that that's playable. Uh, okay, this is gonna suck. Check. Um. Check. Just a bit. And F4 happens. All right, so I'm down one pawn. That's all. So I pinned the queen, and now this doesn't hurt so bad. Oh, I can't take. Um, I have to protect my d5 square. Nervous about playing C5. Maybe Rook D8 would have been more appropriate. Check.
My king is really actively placed, and I would love to grab the bishop here if I could. Check. But I'm thinking in pretty idealistic terms here. Realistically, none of that's going to happen. Oh, I have to take the rook. Check. I'm down two pawns. Can I defend this? The answer is going to be somewhere between no and hell no. Um, figure out where that somewhere is. Actually, bishop f6 would have been strong. Play that. You yeah, okay, he got that. Um, well played, sir. Well played. Well, this means no taking with... Like, if knight takes c6, there's no pawn takes c6 anymore. Um, I'm getting kind of squashed here.
check. You lose. Well, that was quick. Hopefully not too, well, yeah, hopefully relatively painless. Um, where are we here? We have one viewers. Excellent. That's how you know that Lee Chess is featuring my stream. After all, Ready. I've got the Lee Chess streamer icon on my profile. So whatever. We can do this. We don't need an audience. We can have an audience of an empty chamber. Karaoke. Okay, Check. why are we going into this line? Check. Was my opponent just rolling the dice, or does he actually think that this is good? Okay, so I would have threats um, if my opponent's pieces were on different squares. That counts for something. All right, cross my fingers. Hopefully this won't get me cooked. Uh...
on the face of it, this variation looks terrifying. But I'm the one pulling all the strings here. So eventually tactics have to work in my favor. It. Let's let him take material. He takes the right one. Oh shit. Well, at least this isn't so bad. Endgame is playable. Check. 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 Victory. There we go. So, we're still in 54th. We're making our way up, I guess, but... Um... This is exhausting, guys. Ready. There are plenty of guys who deserve the trophy more than I do. Check. At least as far as chess trophies are concerned. I guess I'm just not enough of a masochist um, to put myself through the rest of the tournament. Because pretty much every game is going to be against a 2000 at this point forward. Um, I joined to have fun, and this is kind of ceasing to be fun. Competition's too good.
I should scratch that. The competition is good. Um, which is one step better than where I'm at as a competitive chess player. As a hobby player, sure, I have tons of fun playing the game. Um, as a competitive player, I have no freaking clue what's going on. Like, every game. So why do I consider myself to be competitive anyhow? Um... King's totally in the wrong space because um, my pawns are weak. I'm trying to hold on to all of them. That's just not going to work. Um, Just concede that. So part of the reason I started being so competitive here is because everybody who visited my channel, of which there are none right now, um, was asking me, ready, asking me what's my position in the tournament. I kept saying I'm about 64th place, and I've actually worked my way up since then. But I don't think I'm gonna. I'm nowhere near being able to sustain top 50. For one, I haven't made it into the top 50. Two, everybody in the top 50 is rated higher than I am. And three, I um, really don't need a three. One and two are quite sufficient. Well, I guess three, I don't want to play out the rest of the event. Um, just completely exhausting, nobody's watching, and I'm not having fun doing it. I mean, sure, there's the occasional trick here or there, and I think it's entertaining, but um, getting ground down like this consistently is brutal. Having to rely on trick after trick in silly endgames, uh, it's fun for a while, but eventually you start to ask, what am I doing? Um, so I'm down a knight. I have to take this knight, otherwise I get forked. Problem is, this other knight goes to c2. They're with or without him doing queen takes. Um, yes, I want to keep the queens on the board. I don't know how much that's going to help. Trade queens. Take here. Sure, his knight is not trapped. Oh, I was going to do bishop b7, but forced to do something else first. Okay, so b2 goes. No defending it. The question is, can I defend an endgame however many pawns down I end up? 
Probably not. Did you bishop takes d5? He pinned. Try it, because I'm not afraid at this point. Okay, so I didn't see that. D5 is happening next, so I have to do something about it. I stopped bishop c5. I stopped from getting pinned on the d e file. Um, so, do I have any tactics remaining? Is there anything I could do to liven this up? I suppose I have to do rook c7, but I don't see how this is interesting. After all, d7 is covered. I can't play rook d to d7 because the bishop takes d7. And without any kind of targets toward the king, what am I supposed to do? Okay, so that would allow bishop d4. Forced to play rook d1. Attack the rook. I don't know why that didn't occur to me earlier. Um, that definitely does threaten something. Might not be the best threat. Is a threat. If B four, I could probably resign this. That's not B four. Still probably lost. But we're going to try it. See that I'm losing the bishop. I don't really care. Actually, I broke c1. So, yeah, I'm going to be down an incredible amount of material. But still fighting.
Check. 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 Oops. Check. Well, that's not the way to try Check. for stalemate. Bummer. So we're hanging out at 55th place. Ready. Really looking like a trophy's not in reach. And it's quite discouraging at this point. Um, so really, just a test of uh, atrophy at this point, and seeing if other players will give in and quit the tournament so I can get a trophy. I'm guessing that's not going to happen. Um... Yeah, internet loss can cause you to lose quite a few games. What's discouraging to me is that, um, one, Lee Chess is not hosting nice, or whitelisting, or whatever you call it. I'm not getting listed up there as one of the streams that um, that's advertised on the homepage. And two, um, I guess because of that, I'm not having much of an audience. And I guess three, I'm stuck here at 55th place. And it looks very likely that I'm not going to walk away with anything. So it's very tempting to just cut my losses here and uh, call it a day. All right, so we threaten queen checked somewhere. The queen moves away, we got queen e6 check. I thought that was mate, but I wasn't going to say mate because I wasn't sure. Ready. All right. Shockful! Here, our good old buddy Shockful. Hey, up and comer. How's it up and coming?
One might question why I only know um, the sharpest variations. Actually, I don't know this one that well. I could swear that I'm totally winning this, but I don't remember if it's knight g5, something else. We're going to bet the house on knight g5. Seems like a pretty safe bet. Still can't help but feel that queen d5 might have been it. I saw queen d5, queen e7. So we're betting the house on knight g5. Hopefully it's the right move. Because we lost a pawn, or we sacked a pawn. Black's not supposed to play knight c6 here. Victory. Okay. Just out of curiosity, we get a computer analysis of that one. I want to know if knight g5 was wrong. Oh, but, well, Stackfish doesn't comment on the last move, but... Okay, so that loses about one point to my advantage. Possible that bishop takes f7 was the way to go. I don't know. At any rate, I was better there. If bishop takes f7, king f7, knight g5, king moves, queen d5, probably queen e8. I don't see anything. Ready. Check. Castle? Oh, guys, if you're going to play the mainline Italian, at least play it right. Uh, you disappoint me. I had expected a full-on melee and having to frenziedly try to remember the theory. But now I'm just equal. I am so equal. So, oh, so, 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 so equal here. I thought that for the first time in Lee Chess history, somebody would correctly play the Mahler Gambit against me. I was mistaken. Someone will eventually do it. Not today. We'll follow this with knight two somewhere. Um, sure, e seven looks fine. I play c5 here? 
C5 a thing. Let's find out. I'm calculating and I'm not seeing anything wrong with it. Victory. Well, I won, but I'm disappointed that this guy didn't play the Italian correctly. The Italian deserves so much a better reputation than what it has. Truly really it does. Is anybody denying that? Well, okay. I mean, the Ready. Italian's good. The line I play, that gambit, is... Um, somewhat questionable. Okay, an England gambit. Let's try to gambit right back and see what happens. Check. Oh yeah, I remember this now. That sucks. <laughs> he takes e3. Take back. Yeah, I remember this. A little too late. Check. I guess this is my only move, right? Hey, I survived the opening. Oh no, I didn't. Oh, that's precious. That is precious. Uh, okay, we'll resign that. Well played. Ready. That's what I get for trying to play the Slav. Knight to h5 a move here. Something's telling me no, but something else is telling me just find out by playing it. Um, so we're going to listen to that second idea. There's no turning back now, is there? Queen d6, knight e5, queen e5, queen h5.
And now things get muddy. So if the bishop moves, this is up for grabs. Potentially this is up for grabs. I might castle, I might not. Everything is up in the air. He might castle. Okay, so let's not get mated in the opening. Here's about double pawns. Uh, not me. Apparently. among other places that my knight could go. That's definitely one of the key ideas I have. Okay. Play d4, I say I don't care. And now you move your queen, I take d4, and then I play knight f2. Actually, I'm just winning the D pawn. Okay. I'll take it. Pawn is definitely a pawn. Threats pile up, so this is defended. I take the knight, he takes my knight. Now that's no longer the case. Um, up an exchange and a pawn. Soon to be more, I think. Oh, right. Right. You could interpose that, or interject that. Or up just an exchange. Check. Check. Now I just have to not drop a rook. Easier than it sounds. There's all kinds of ways to drop a rook here. Check. Here, there's that fork. I don't want to allow that fork. Oh, wait. Okay, so I'm losing an exchange um, because I can't calculate. But I'm still up two pawns. Maybe a third pawn. That's not bad.
and I let him take g7 with check. Aren't I smart? Check. The best he can do is push past. Because now I get a pass pawn. And that's going to serve as a distraction or a decoy, so. Um, an active. Well, okay. He's that determined to not bring his king to the middle. Um, this is going to be the guy that promotes. Going to change in plans, people. Check. Victory. Why didn't I just play rook f1 right away? Ready. I didn't see it. Ah, uh, DB Razor. Strong player, to be sure. Okay, so... Maybe H5 was called for there. Um, oh, that sucks. Yeah, I can concede that. And that's why I stand at 52nd. It's because players like DV Razor are just going to pound on me the entire event. Um, Man, this KJF guy has lost six games in a row, and he just keeps playing. That's quite admirable, actually. Ready. Altoid! Here, how we doing, buddy, old pal, old buddy? Um... Uh, yeah, yeah. Played this before. I've gotten bad positions before. Probably will get bad positions again.
So, if I just bear all my pieces down the D and the F files, what else should I be doing? I mean, I think that's pretty much what I'm supposed to do here. Um, that D5 takes, 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 takes. I'm still I'm fine there. I have enough pieces attacking that D5 is not going to happen this instant. Or this instant? I don't know. Okay, so we're going to try doubling. <laughs> After only a half an hour, you got bored of the marathon. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It is quite tiring. Maybe that's why I'm playing all these ridiculous moves to liven it up a bit. Um, okay, so E3 is kind of sort of hanging. All kinds of queen checks are threatened. Yes, I have to run back. Okay, what do I do here? I mean, there are two hours left in the marathon if you want to try it at all. Yeah, one thing I notice is that at the start of the tournament, you tend to win lots and lots of rating points because you face lower rated players. Eventually, that stagnates and then you face harder and harder opposition and just it's absolutely brutal at some point. Um, and at some point's kind of where I'm at here. Where all my opponents are rated either 1900 or 2100. And there isn't a single rest game anywhere. Hey. So I have to play G4. It's disgusting, but. Check. If I don't play it, my house falls apart.
starting to get optimistic about this particular position. Check. Okay, this stops bishop c5. Might allow me to play g5. I'm very hesitant about playing g5, but I don't see any other way forward. And I'm kind of low on time, aren't I? Just a touch. Oh. Screw it. We're taking that. Check. You lose. Bummer. I kind of deserve that, right? And we're still in 52nd place. Ready. Two hours to go. Archimaboldi or whatever. This dude crushed me before. He's probably going to crush me again. Playing the same opening I played last time against him. Last time he tore me a new one. So, yep. See how this goes. Um, takes twice on e6. At least this time I'm not losing an entire piece. So there is that. Um, actually, materials even. Check. Okay, materials no longer even. I just found a different way to lose the piece. Check. Check. Yeah, I didn't see that check until after I played c6. Or actually, that's a lie. I did see that check, I just didn't think I could do anything about it. Um, I'm still of the opinion that I was right there. Check. Hey look, I'm finding lots of ways to lose pieces. Oh, I remember last time... 
I tricked him in an endgame. And this is why this time he's being so incredibly exact with his move. Because he knows that I'm tricky. Check. 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 If I were to attack the B-pawn right away, you just push the B-pawn. This way I have a target. Check. Don't get me wrong, I'm still completely dead lost. But we're just going between different kinds of dead loss now. Check. Yeah, I can design that. So, oh, where are we? 52nd place, three losses in a row. Ready. Okay, how do I gambit this? I don't feel like playing against a 2093. I'd rather play against a lower rated player. Check. I attempted to gambit that. Um, I think I did okay. Oh, my opponent went Berserk, too. No explanation. There's no alternative explanation for how um, I could be up this much on the clock. Check. Check. I find it important to protect that particular pawn.
He's going to do bishop g8. Clever. Not clever enough. Check. I'm on the wrong side Check. of the pawn, so there is no draw here. Still proving it's difficult. Check. 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 It's a draw. Congrats on 998, Lokoff. Ready. Yeah, no, I fumbled this opening. As I tend to fumble most Check. openings. I'm down one pawn. Okay, so we got a rook uh, for something. I have a rook for a knight and a pawn.
That square is very important. Maybe I should have gone after this pawn. Yeah, really thinking I should have. Um, that pawn's going to be trickier to rope up. As long as my king gets active enough, that pawn won't stop me. So, I've sufficiently blocked the bishop. And tied down the rook. Now I just need to rope up the b-pawn and try to win the endgame. Actually, I have rook a3, rook a4 made. Um, so king c4 is forced. That's Change not three. king c4. Ready. Get to play against Bish again. Hey, look, I'm playing the Sicilian. Yeah. Why am I playing the Sicilian? Don't ask me. Maybe I have dreams of one day becoming an amazing Sicilian player. I doubt it. But maybe that's the reason. Maybe I just have faith in this system. Although I should have played a6 by now. Throwing my opponent into a tizzy because uh, my lack of an a6 is confusing. Check. Still covered. Um, okay, I don't want to give up F6. Looks atrocious. Got four average set upon loss in a 10 move game. I mean, the fact that it's a 10 move game kind of suggests that your opponent maybe didn't play the best moves every move. So there could be some room for questioning. Um, there'd be a lot of room for doubt there. Uh, okay. I'm going to tuck the king on f8 and pretend it's a French. A French where black just gives away the h-pawn because he's feeling... Oh, well, maybe I don't have to give it away. I don't know. I say because he's feeling generous. Um,
All kinds of things are threatened. I can't even begin to identify what's threatened here. Okay, this attacks the bishop to give me time to play queen c8. Um, attacking the g pawn. I'm going to take who knows I'm threatening the rook I'm threatening the queen I'm threatening the h pawn rook trade would be so convenient here rook trade's not happening Um, if I sack a pawn or something, he'll give me a rook trade. I'm sorry, a queen trade. Queen trade would be nice. trade leading into a rook endgame. I should be able to win the endgame. Um, okay. Stop the pawn. I don't know what step two is. Really running low on ideas, other than just attempt to exchange. Ah, oh, there's a mate threat. Subtle. Deal with these things. Check. Okay, my king's safe. Sometimes I wish that chess were a more democratic game and I didn't have to worry about my king. Okay, so I could take the H pawn and then move. No, I can't. What am I smoking? Of course I can't. Um, So I think my king's safe. I'm going to have to think again at some point, but not now. Rook takes d6, I think I have to take the bishop. Um, I can't take the oh, so. Double the rooks on third. Make clear that we're taking that bishop. Unless the bishop moves, which probably will. Yeah, opponents are missing things this late in the tournament. Um... So what do I do?
No, I can't take that. At least it's not winning for me to take it. Maybe this. Add more pressure on B3. Now rook takes d6 is possible, but I think I just take b3. I don't know how the Sicilian's working out. Um, I think it's a bad choice. Uh, so yeah. Victory. Oh yeah, victory through attrition. Ready. Sure. What could possibly go wrong? Okay. Uh, what a strange opening choice. That's me saying that. Clearly, the Sicilian idea works. Check. Okay, this activates my rook. Um,
check. Hey, I'm all up for giving as many awards as possible. Although, I wouldn't want to encourage poor behavior either. So yeah, most moves played sounds like a fun award. And why didn't I play to C3? What am I doing? I mean, I know my idea was to play Rook A8, Rook A1. Um, that doesn't look like a sound idea at all. Or possibly Rook D8, Rook D1. Twelve hundred's like nope. That's hilarious. Um, so this is where my attack unwinds, isn't it? I'm only up one pawn, and um, my opponent's got lots of past pawns. Although I am attacking B4, and how does he protect it? Check. Check. Okay, so I'm threatening Queen G1 mate. Still threatening Queen G1 mate. Check. Check. Victory. That was good. Wait, we're at 47th place by some miracle. Which can only mean that I'm going to get one hell of a pairing here. Um... Ready. I was going to take e6. Now I'm hesitating. As I should. Um, that sucks. So I can't... Well, okay, so we've just gone into the wild blue yonder here.
We're down a piece for two pawns. And now not down material. But this position is sketchy. Victory. <laughs> well, that was a pretty sketchy win. All right. One might question why I'm playing this. Um, the reason is because last time we played e4 and this guy served me so badly. So, so, so badly. Um, so we're going to play a different opening. Chess sucks is in 41st. That's pretty awesome. Well, surely he's going to take my bishop, right? Okay, so e3 is loose. Um, suppose this protects e3. against any bishop capture, which I just can't calculate right now because too many captures and I'm too tired to calculate it. But I don't doubt that after some combination of bishop captures, there's something there. One, two, three, four way fork. But most importantly, targeting d5, which is not so easy to defend.
And, I mean, it would be super nice if I could get a smothered checkmate, but it's not going to happen. Oh, I could take d5 now. I could do knight takes e5 and be greedy. We're taking d5. This opportunity will not pass. We will not pass at this opportunity. And it looks as if queen takes queen, knight takes queen, b6 holds this. I'm sorry, the bishop has to move. Um, I'm going to say that move would run into a fork of sorts. This move is more complicated. Okay, let's stop rook c2. Wait, why not use that rook? Okay, so he intends a3 and then b2. After that, there's b5, b4. Uh, we'll see. See what happens. It happens anyway. Um, there's no way out, is there? I'm losing a rook. Or more precisely, I'm losing a minor piece, because my opponent hits a sack in exchange to get that. Check. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> Check. I was only thinking about this end game. Check. It's a draw. And I was not thinking about pawn takes pawn, which would have drawn much easier. Um Wow, I did not expect that pawn move. Ready. All right, bug house, here we go.
That square is important. Okay, forgot about that. Maybe G3 was in order. After all, I do need to find somewhere suitable for my bishop on E3. And G3 would protect F4. Really what I'd like to play it, well, I don't know where this bishop belongs. F4 and D5 seems to make sense, but that blocks my other bishop. But maybe that's not the end of the world. Um, so okay, I'm playing c4. I don't know what to think about this c4 move other than I want to play it. Clearly, I can't take the knight. Might still be okay here. Hopefully those kinds of knight g3 tactics are decisive. I seem to be okay. Queen can take two rooks, but the knight gets trapped. But of course, an instant I think I have something, I just clearly don't. I'm down a rook. Down an exchange, actually. Against this kind of opponent, it might as well be down a rook. Check. So I could play C5. And good luck on getting 800th place. Looks like maybe if enough people drop out, I might score in the top 50. Which would net me a trophy. Okay. 
This is just like a complete illusory threat. There's nothing there. Not sure why he bothered defending against. Clever. There's no tactics, so I just have to play reasonable chess. Something tells me I might learn this endgame the hard way. Check. Check. Yeah. All right, so we're still lurking in 44, but no longer on a winning streak. So, guessing that players are going to eclipse me very quickly. Unless I can win a few in a row. Ready. Chicken Brad, here we go. I don't know what inspires a name like Chicken Brad, but um, I'm afraid of it, because it's something unknown. Chip A3 and Knight E3, and this gets wild. Um, Check. Probably just going to take d5 and avoid all the sharpest stuff. My castle. And um, stuff happens, maybe. He wants to play queen h7 mate. Did I not call that?
All right, so this gets my this prevents a bishop d6 trapping my rook thing. I don't know if that was ever going to happen, but this prevents it. Sets up a cheap bow on g2, which of course he sees. Um, the real point is so I could get my rooks active. So there's too many pieces attacking f7, and I have to capture like so. Now here, f7 is adequately defended. Now I can worry about attacking. Maybe. Uh, well, I am attacking his knight. He conveniently forgot about. Victory. Sweet. Okay, we're in 44th. Fifty-five minutes left. I'm gonna get myself some water. Ready. Just a minute. <laughs> uh, five. Not get played. Play this crap. Um. I don't know this crap. Wait. That seems highly provocative. In what universe is this book? Because I'm threatening... I've got a really actively placed rook, right? I could play b5, queen takes, I take c... not even worth going into. Um, So b5 traps the queen. I'm happy with that one. I don't know, Wilkoff. I suppose everybody starts at 1500, and maybe, I guess that means you made it back to 1500? I don't know. I guess if you win, your rating goes up. That's how that works, I guess. Um. Victory. Oh yeah, yeah. I was going to say Queen E5, G5 with the Rooks trapped. So here we are, standing at 44th, two wins in a row, 52 minutes to go. And I need to get in the habit, Ready. or I need to break the habit, oh, holy crap. Um, maybe he'll play into some of the openings I know? Guess not. Uh, 
I don't even know what he's doing. Check. I was confused when it said check because I thought I was in check. Um, which plainly is not the case. Yeah, honestly, I don't know what to say about the numbers. Um, I mean, they'll go up, they'll go down. They're not perfect. They're just numbers. There we go. Um, we've sealed in as bishop. Now we just do a rook lift and another rook lift. And the rest is history, right? I mean, unless I'm missing something really important here. So check. I'm an idiot. That's okay. I can still maybe win this. Oh, Rook G6 is bad. Check. 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 Victory. Okay. Somehow I won that. Ready. I guess my opponent must have gone berserk, because there's no explanation as to how I could have won that legit um, against somebody playing their best. Like, I mean, sure, the law of large numbers says eventually I'm going to win a game. Um, oh crap, why didn't I play knight f6? Why didn't I not play knight f6? 
but it made so much sense here. I need to get my pieces under control. They're going all kinds of directions I don't want them going. Okay, this has to be played here. Really atypical, but it looks really strong. Um, rookie two, bishop f5 might... No, it doesn't trap a queen. Close, but no cigar. Okay. Don't get made, don't get made. Not get made. I could just play rookie a, or last turn I could have. Um, my king in escape square, hoping to get through d7. I don't know. Looks dangerous. I pawn an f4 is strong. Restricting this knight from doing anything. Okay, let's just say the obvious move is rook a to e1. Does not get played, possibly because it's too obvious. Okay, the queen h no queen h six does not happen here, nor does queen f six. Um, Crazy. So if he takes f7, I take his queen. And now I see the folly in my logic. Check. And what can I do? So I have to block when he checks me. I'm currently up Check. a queen for a knight. Check. Yeah, we're both calculating the same thing here as what if rook g6. Um, I block with either piece and he takes both. Actually, that's not true. Check. So. I could block with my queen or my rook. Um, he does rook takes. Well, I don't know. He's going to do bishop takes. Check. And I'm forced to take with my queen. So I'm down a rook. Um, oh, 
Oh, I could have taken this. Check. 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 Okay, he's got this. Fair enough, buddy. Oh, and you won't be able to play the end of the tournament. That's too bad. 701's pretty cool, though. That's the top third of the tournament. That's pretty damn good. Uh, we're standing here at 44. Uh, probably going to get killed this game. I'm not too ashamed to play some of those moves. You know what I'm talking about.
check. 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 Well, well, well. That was kind of expected. So we're still sitting at 44. Still on a two-game losing streak. Yeah, I have 40 seconds withdrawn. I'm playing against another streamer. How about that? We get to play this thing again, huh? Um... I have ideas. Check. Give my queen an escape square. Okay, we're up a night. Still up a night. Check. Victory. Cool. Ready. And another 2200. Have some fun with this guy. Oops, well that sucks. You lose. That was quick.
Yeah, congratulations on 671st. That's pretty good. That's above the uh, half of the players that played in this event. Keep getting paired with, well, between 1700s and 2200s. Oh, and Spinal Tap's playing. Ready. If I don't get paired with Spinal Tap, <laughs> that would be a pain. Opponent offers a draw. It's a draw. Yeah, whatever. I'm not going to win against Apostolos. It's a zero point draw, by the way. Ready. And I get a 2000. Perfect. Exactly why I accepted the draw, so I could get paired with somebody higher. Why wouldn't I want that? Um. Yeah, I'm just being a douche here and giving up the C-Pawn. Um, like, Theory would never conceive of Black giving away the pawn Check. like this. Um, but I'm playing something non-theoretical. Yeah, I mean, that depends how many people keep playing and how many people join, but did pretty well. Oh, D5 is going to win a piece. At least it would if I don't take back with the B pawn. Actually, d5, I could castle queenside. That would be interesting. And he plays bishop c4. And who knows where we go next. And the queen's still in this pin. Yeah, drawing in the first ten moves just means that that game ends and you get to play a different player. Uh, okay, we're going to castle. There's no way this could possibly go wrong. Check. Okay, so I got one free pawn. Be happy with that. Oh shit, I missed this. Although I don't know that taking that would have done me any good. Um, I have to kick this bishop.
That's a queen trap if I've ever seen one. Um, I needed to play e5 instead of e4. The moral of the story. Uh, okay. I guess we play on. We're only down a queen for a bishop and two pawns against a 2,000. And about to go down another piece. You know, compensation or something. Believe in the heart of the cards. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to let this game go. There's no winning that. So here we stand at 44th place again. I would not at all be surprised if I get eclipsed in the final moments of this story. Okay. Take my knight. Or don't. I could take this rook, right? Queen takes, bishop takes, I take the queen. He takes my rook. I take, he takes, this is equal. Um, I could take, but it doesn't do me any good to do so. Hmm. Four on three and all this. Looks tricky. Check. Check.
Victory. Ready. GM no way. Apparently, this is the line I wanted to play, huh? Maybe at some point I'll study this one. Um. It is a line, I just don't know it. And I got my lines mixed up, and I played C takes instead of E takes. And that forces me into this line. Check. Check. So I'm surviving-ish, maybe? Um, at least there's no Knight C2 fork. I avoided that. I'm trying to, I don't know, make something happen here. Oh, I could take F4. Not losing material in this case. Check. Uh, which way do I go? I think this is the way to go. It's counterintuitive. Sure.
Check. Not looking like I'm going to win this. I'll just concede. And Ready. we're still in 43rd against a 2200. Check. 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 You well, I can resign that honorably, having made it to move 10 and such. Can I get paired with somebody who's not 2200? Please? Please? May the pairing gods hear my call. <laughs> oh dear. Ready. Here we got DV Razor. He's not 2200. Still pretty good. And we got the Scotch Gambit yet again. Um. Okay, so I think I played the Scotch Gambit correctly this time. He didn't sack on F7, but we've transposed into that other stupid. Check. Um. Or have we? going on here Check. Check.
Check. Let's concede this and try to score some points against somebody. We stand in 45th, three losses in a row. I get paired with somebody who's capable of losing to me. Ready. I get paired with the 2000. Fine, we'll take a draw. I don't care. That's zero points to either of us. Ready. Oh, shoot. I just hung a pawn. Let me not hang so many pawns. Uh, I need to play better. Reality is, I can't take that pawn. Um, how does things stand now? I need to protect my back rank. Okay, we block his bishop in. Uh, this is looking like a disappointing draw. From the perspective of, there's no way he's going to blow this. Why didn't I play Rook D5?
Check. So, yeah, there's threats abounding everywhere. Um, Check. Well, this is dangerous. Um, yeah, I can't. Can't let that pawn just run. Got one minute left. Check. 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 And thus ends the marathon. My draw offer rejected. Check. Check. All right, how did we do? 46th place. At least it was top 50 after all. I'm going to get some kind of trophy for it. I should be happy. I'm exhausted. <laughs> all right. Thanks to all one of you for watching. Um, so, yeah, let's see what the banter is here. 111 cheaters? Really? Yeah, I don't... There's been so many accusations in this particular tournament. It's so easy to accuse without basis, just because you're upset about a result. So, yeah, thank you. I I want my trophy now. <laughs> okay. Um, I can't even navigate away from the page, can I? So, hey, look, marathon top fifty. That's pretty awesome. My particular style makes that trophy not work as well as it should, but um. Game of the tournament right here. Where was it? Where was it? Come on. It's down here somewhere among my many, 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 many games that I played. Uh, can I find it? I know it's here. Actually, why don't I look through my um, bookmarked games? Two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, and seven, twelve, thirteen. Four, okay, where is it? 
Look at it this way. My game with King's Crusher. Find it this way. This one. Did I not bookmark this? Let's refresh. Did I bookmark this? Yes. Now it's bookmarked. Game of the tournament. Just because I say so, and I'm the one doing the stream. Now let's flip the board, shall we? Autoplay. Black is going berserk. This looks pretty timid, or tame, right? I play bishop h6, queen d2, and castle. And suddenly it becomes clear that sanity is about to strike. Yeah, taking e5 was possibly not a wise decision. Um, I'm not saying that I played well. I'm just saying that um, King's Crusher got a little overzealous with berserking. We're going berserk. So, yeah. And then here I try to exchange down. Here he's having none of it. I stop f4. He plays f4 anyway. We get into this end game, which objectively should be. Um, actually, I don't even know. White has three pawns, black has a rook. Check. I'm oh, sorry, three pawns and a bishop for a rook. Actually, I probably am just objectively one here. Check. 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 I was happy with this one. I placed 46. Check. Check. I kept telling myself I was going to withdraw, but then I noticed that I actually had a chance at a trophy, so I went for it and got it. And got this impressive scalp of King's Crusher, so... I mean, it's not that impressive because he shouldn't go berserk against me because we have about the same rating, but whatever. He's a pretty good player. Just been stressing himself a lot. And he doesn't think, he doesn't expect the Spanish Inquisition, shall we say. Um, so yeah, let's go back to the tournament and see how people are talking. Ah, uh, Flourish lost to a Scholar's Mate. Uh, I'm Todovsky, or Toad of Sky, or how else could you say this? Um, I'm really struggling with thinking of a third way to pronounce it. Toadovsky? 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 I don't know. However you want to say it, I'm happy with it. 57. I'm guessing Bigfoot. Um... Bigfoot for now, uh, took 57. KJF. Would you look at this? 2 2 0 0 0 2 2 4 0 0 0 1 0 2 2 4. There's just so many zeros in here. I mean, look at that. 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0. And he just keeps going. That's incredible. I don't know how you keep that kind of momentum in this tournament. Okay. Well... So, yeah. I'm not even sure what to say now. 
I'm glad I had that one win over King's Crusher. Just, just to let him know that he shouldn't go berserk against me. Oh, that's too bad. You know, the other thing that's too bad is that, um, I still haven't managed to figure out why my stream doesn't show up when I put leechess.org in my stream title. You got chess bra here, you got soldier 89kn, and I just don't show up anymore. But maybe that works for the best, it just means we have a more intimate audience here. Um, yeah, 2,258 players. Crazy. Who was the highest guy that I got paired against? If I can find out. Okay, so... Um, hey, I, I don't think I got paired against both this tournament. Probably got paired against this guy, this number five, Kalujuba Krieger, at some point. Probably got him once. Yes, sir, Rev, I didn't get this tournament. Um, DV Razor. I got paired with DV Razor. He took ninth. I might have even beaten him once, so I should be happy. Okay. What an event. So, sure, let's finish with a coordinate trainer and a puzzle and stuff. Okay. F8, G1, D2, C1, B2, F3, A4, F6, E5, C2, A4, G2, F6, A3, H8, D5, C8, D5, B7, E6, B2, E8. A4, C6, D2, H5, B8, F2, C6, D5, E7, D6, H4, B5, E7, F6, B7, E5. Da, 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 okay. 48. Average score is white, 43.65. 48 is pretty good. Let's do some openings. Queen takes pawn. No, okay. Um, I'm just saying, if I were to... Oh, that gives an advantage to the opponent. I should actually not do openings, because it's going to ruin my openings rating. I've actually kind of worked on. Um, let's do puzzles, because I don't really care so much about my puzzle rating. It's a hard puzzle. Uh, yeah, it is hard. I give up. Anyway. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to see highest ranking opponents. I don't think there's a way to view that, other than just knowing who you played against. So, what do I do now? I don't want to give up my C-pawn. Um, I mean, if I were white, I might resign this, but apparently white has a better move. Maybe just rook h3, rook f3. It looks dubious as heck because rook takes c2 is coming. But what else can white do? I guess there is queen e2. I don't see that accomplishing too much.
queen d1. I, yeah, I've got king moves. Why don't I move my king? Once the king moves, I can actually threaten to take f6 and then h7. But if I move my king, black moves king g8, and all my threats are null and void. Um, gotta be another way. Maybe just rook g4, praying for some kind of mating attack. Nope! What was it? Pawn takes, and g3. Oh, and then rook g4. Why, of course. Why didn't you say so? Alright. Um... Okay, so what else can I do? Because obviously I can't do puzzle solving either. Or can I? Okay, is this one I've seen before in like a magazine or something? Queen h5, king d8, bishop a5? Probably one of those nonsensical things. Um... What else could it be? I have no mating threats. Queen a4 doesn't do anything. Oh, I've got b3. b3, bishop d5, and nothing happens. Um, queen takes pawn! That's an excellent suggestion. Best suggestion by far. Um, that ends white suffering, right? And that's really the goal. Now, I think this one's a pawn, though. What do we have? Queen G oh, okay. But why doesn't black just defend this? Because that. Right. Uh, elementary, my dear Watson. Okay, there's a mate thread on g2. I should maybe do something about that. Or maybe just completely ignore it. So queen f8, king d7, rook d1, queen e6, queen f6 mate. Check. Uh, this is probably the harder part. Okay, why does that fail? Oh, because that's mate in one. I don't like it. Clever, but um, rook d1 also wins. Because if king e6, queen f6 is mate, and if, say, the knight blocks, we just take the rook on g7 and win. I could win that. So, one more, and then we switch to who knows what. Um, I don't have a mate, do I? So, wait, bishop check. What the heck's black doing here? Oh, this wins, this wins. I check, oh, he's got rook f7, but, I mean, okay, what am I supposed to do? Take, check, I saw that, and I stupidly rejected it, because I didn't see that was made. Um, okay, we can solve one of these, right? Rook g3? It's not going to be rook g3, because it's too obvious. Um, the real problem with rook g3 is there's king h1. Oh, but then I play queen e4, right?
Knowing my luck, it's not going to be Queen E4. What else could it be? I don't know. The Queen E4 wins. Um, and then Rook takes Rook, threatens mate in one. Rook takes h2, king takes queen h4. Rook takes h2, queen takes, queen takes rook. Yay! I solved one. I don't like it. Too obvious. I'm not even joking. Okay, does this not win material? I need popcorn. I'm gonna go make some popcorn. You guys deliberate on the merits of Bishop D2. Have you guys solved it yet? You vote popcorn. And bring you some too. Well, hmm. I don't know. I had breakfast. I haven't had lunch, and it's dinner time. So I don't know if I could be splitting my portions. Obviously, it's just queen d6. I mean, what else could it possibly be? All right, we're going to play this and see what happens. Yeah. All right. Figure out the next move, guys. <laughs> this one's actually a little bit trickier here. I'm pretty sure it's queen f8. But, again, knowing my luck, it's got to be like queen d6 or So, yeah, I'm thinking queen f8, maybe queen e8. Yeah. This came out a bit burned. Hmm. Queen c7 is a fork. We do have that to say in its defense. See, it works better for white, though. I'm pretty sure it's rook c8. The real part of the puzzle, by the way. The rest was just an introduction. And now it's queen takes queen. Oh.
I'll have to ask Zug Addict to analyze my King's Crusher game. Just to see Zug go completely hysterical when I start sacking my army. Awesome, I made number six. Now I just have to off the top five people so I can do the narration. Still feel a little bad about offing Freeman, though. I'm sorry, I'm above Freeman. Well, okay, in that case, I wouldn't have to off him. Yeah, he does live. Clearly, here White just needs to offer his opponent a chance to resign. Oh wait, it's knight d6, knight f5, knight takes knight. There's the tactic. Knight d6, and I fail. What I miss, that this is better. So instead of winning a knight, you win like everything. Clever, but I don't like it. I'm downvoting it. I can already tell this puzzle's awful. Unless it's a help mate. In which case, rook a3, king b1, king b3, rook b2 mate. It's not a help mate, is it? I could play rook c1, and then rook cb1, and then a3, and rook b2. The force is a rook trade. The rook trade would be enough to win. Maybe it's rook c1, king a2, rook a3, king b2. Oh. And then rook c a1. I hate this problem. Such a dumb problem. Yeah, I solved it, but I don't like it.
That's a brilliant, brilliant joke. Why did the uh, guy with Alzheimer's cross the road? Why did the guy with Alzheimer's cross the road? Why did the guy with... Okay, you get the idea. Still, that's got to be awful. <laughs> I mean, it's really poor in taste to make fun of people with illness and such. But that's because it's so offensive, some people find it hilarious. So do I do bishop takes d4? I mean, I'm pretty sure I've gotten this position in my own games, and I've played bishop takes d4 and managed to win. But that doesn't mean it's a good move. Oh, well, let's take d4 and see what happens, right? Yeah! Now, maybe taking the rook na one's dumb. Or maybe we take it anyway. Oh wait, this is the position I had in my game and I blew it, and black just needs to play queen e8. From my game, is it not? Am I just tripping? Or is this actually from my game? The problem with queen e8 is that um, Knight F7 check. I don't really have a good response, do I? Or do I just do King H7? <laughs> what game is this from? Okay, so it's not from my game. It looks awfully familiar somehow, but position must slightly differ. Well, there's only one move here. Do I take f5 and then do knight g6? That really, really looks winning.
Okay, good move. It only wins the game, but you can do better. Ah, good question, Fate. So the answer is, I'm solving chess puzzles. I'm not actually playing a chess game. But yeah, it, for sure I'm down like 100 points or something from where I'm normally at. I could swear that rook takes f5, followed by knight g6, checkmate, and yep, um, he just thinks I can do better than checkmate. Hmm. I could take f6 on Poisson. Queen takes rook. Pawn takes g7. I'm winning a queen. Give it a try. I just promote here, right? What a goofy puzzle. This definitely looks like something I blundered in one of my games. Hmm. Since the queen guards d3, and there's no way to change that, um, c3 check looks strong. Now, I should know how to checkmate from here, but I'm being dumb. Maybe just queen b2, king d1, queen b1 mate. That's not your t no, maybe one's not mate. So, yeah. Maybe bishop b2, king d2, queen c3, king d1, I don't know. Maybe I just take e1 and win a queen. That king is pretty superbly defended. Seriously, I'm not seeing the checkmate. I 
I don't think there is a forced mate here. I have just barely not enough material to achieve it. Um, oh wait, queen b2, king d1, queen b1, bishop c1, queen b3 checkmate, because c1's blocked by the bishop. Dumb puzzle. I don't like direct mates. I prefer puzzles where the answer isn't check, 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 mate. Puzzles with at least one uh, move that isn't forcing are much more interesting. Like here, knight f3 check. King somewhere, rook check, king somewhere, or whatever. It's, this doesn't start with knight f3 check. I don't know what's going on here. I mean, there is rook f5. Rook f5, king h4. Then we have knight f3 check there. Also, rook f5, king h4, g3 check. I'm pretty sure it leads nowhere. Or rook f5, knight takes rook, queen takes, king h4. And yeah, there is no checkmate in that line. I gotta start with knight f3. Now, this queen covers. Oh, I've seen this on somebody else's stream. That's not fair, is it? Um. Oh, well, I mean, what do you do, right? So rook h5, king h5, oh, queen g6 is not made. Never mind. But it's been pretty good here. I have to stop queen e8. Um, so rook f6, king h5. I mean, it's got a mate somehow. But how? Oh, queen e5 and queen g5. And king h3, rook h6, queen h4, rook takes queen mate. If there's nothing better. But that looks like the best we've got here. Or not. Never mind. Heard nothing. Um, so what? H five check? Is that the idea? Or queen f five? No, queen f five loses the queen. H five. In there, queen takes pawn mate. Mate, right? Yeah. I don't like direct mate puzzles. Um. So, do I take the bishop on d3? Or can I take g2? I don't think taking g2 mates. So I think that means taking d3 is the answer. Just winning some material. I'm not even sure how much. So yeah, if I take g2, and then queen h2, king f1... Actually, no, that king is trapped. King, so yeah, king f1, 
Queen h1, King e2, Queen. Um, Queen somewhere. Queen g2, King e1. Queen g1's not mate. Is Bishop f1. Um, oh, this does mate though. No. Oh. What the heck? Stockfish. Okay, first of all, what is it? Same idea, but don't give up the bishop. I saw all these moves, except uh, I gave up the bishop. Why is that relevant? Stockfish, come destroy me. Check, 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 check. Oh, I see the problem. I did not see that problem. Check. This problem is problematic. Check, check, check. 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 Never Check. expected that one, Check. did you? Huh? Check. Okay. Check. Bummer. All right. So yeah, my my variation is slightly worse than the actual puzzle solution. It looks like chess bras keeping at it. So since I am not um, featured or advertised up here, and since chess bra is. I'm going to take a break, maybe watch some SGDQ. Um, so yeah, thanks to everybody for watching, and hope to see you around.